In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate normality as it relates to asses and bases. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is how to calculate normality if you're given the molarity of a solution. And then we'll talk about how to calculate it using uh, equivalent weights. So the formula that you need to know is this equation. Normality is molarity times n or n is the number of protons per formula unit in the case of acids or hydroxide ions per formula unit in the case of bases. So I'm going to give you four practice problems. The first one is going to be 0.15 molar HCl, 1.4 m sulfuric acid, 2 molar sodium hydroxide, 0.4 m barium hydroxide and that's about it so let's start with the first one so the normality is going to be the concentration which is 0.15 and this is a monoprotic acid there's only one hydrogen per formula unit so n is 1 so it's going to be 0.15 so that's the normality for the first solution. As you can see, it's really not that bad. Now let's move on to the second example. So the concentration is 1.4, but notice that this time we have two hydrogen atoms per formula unit. So N is 2. 1.4 times 2 is 2.8. And so that's the normality for this particular example. Now for the third example, it's going to be 2 times n. In this case, it's only one hydroxide ion per formula unit. So n is 1. And so that's going to be 2n. And now let's move on to the last example. So the concentration is 0.4. And there's two hydroxide ions per formula unit. So 0.4 times 2 is 0.8. And so that is how you can calculate the normality of a solution if you're given the molarity using this formula. Let's try this problem. What is the normality of a solution that contains 50 grams of sulfuric acid dissolved in 15 liters? So we're going to do this two ways. We're going to find the molarity and then find the normality. And then we're going to use a second method to find the normality directly without using molarity. So first, let's calculate the molarity. The molarity of a solution is defined as the moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. So I'm going to start with 50 grams of sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid is the solute. Now we're assuming it's dissolved in 15 liters of solution. And let's say that water is the solvent. The first thing we need to do is convert grams to moles. So let's calculate the molar mass of sulfuric acid. The atomic mass of hydrogen is about 1.008, sulfur is 32.06, and oxygen is 16. So the molar mass of H2SO4 is 98.076. So one mole of H2SO4 has a mass of 98.076 grams. So the unit grams cancel. So we have moles of solute on top. Now we got to divide it by the liters of the solution. So we have 15 liters of solution. So this is going to give us the molarity. Moles divided by liters. So it's 50 divided by 98.076 divided by 15. So it's going to be 0 0.034 m. So now we can calculate the normality using this equation. It's the molarity times n. So the molarity is 0 0.034 and there's two hydrogen atoms per formula unit, so this is going to work out to be 0 
So that's the normality of the solution. So that's one way in which you can find it. Now let's talk about the other method that we could use. And it's up to you to pick and choose which method works best for you. But I think it's best to understand it both ways. Now, what you need to understand is that normality is defined as the number of equivalents per liter of solution. Now, the definition can vary based on the situation. So for acids and bases, the normality is equal to the equivalent weight or the number of equivalent weights divided by the liters of solution. So how can we determine the number of equivalent weights? How can we figure that out? So one equivalent weight is equal to the mass that yields one mole of protons for acids. For bases, it would be one mole of hydroxide ions. But I'm going to focus on the definition for acids. So that's one equivalent weight. It's the mass that yields one mole of H plus ions. Now here's the process that you want to follow. Step one, the first thing you want to do is start with one mole of H plus and convert it to the grams of substance. This will give you the number of equivalent weights. That's how you can find it. Step two, keep in mind one equivalent weight is the mass that yields one mole of H plus. That's where you want to start with one mole of H plus. Now step two, take the grams of substance and then just convert it to the number of, you can convert it directly to normality, where normality is equivalent weight per liter. I guess once you finish step one, you can go directly to step two and just convert it to normality. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do it all in one step. So our final goal is to get equivalent weight per liter. So let's start with one mole of H plus. Now one mole of sulfuric acid contains two moles of H plus. So always keep track of the units. So now that we have moles of H2SO4, let's convert it to grams. Now we know that the molar mass is 98.076 grams of sulfuric acid per one mole of H2SO4. Instead of doing it all at once, I'm just going to break it up into two parts. I think it's best that way. So 98.076 divided by 2. So this is 49.0. 038 grams. So you need to know what this means. This is the equivalent mass, which is basically the equivalent weight. But here's what you want to take from the first step. You want to write a conversion factor, and that is one equivalent weight is equal to 49.038 grams. So now we have the equivalent weight. Now we need to calculate the normality. So the normality is the number of equivalent weights divided by the liters. Keep in mind this mass just correlates to one equivalent weight. So 50 grams is a little bit more than one equivalent weight. So what you need to do now is start with the original mass that you have because that number can vary. So we're going to start with 50 grams of sulfuric acid and then convert grams to the number of equivalent weights. So one equivalent weight is 49.038 grams. So the unit grams cancel. And then once you have the number of equivalent weights, which is just above one, it's 50 divided by 49.038, take that result and divide it by the volume of the solution in liters. So it's 50 divided by 49.038. So that's 1.0196 equivalent weights divided by 15. And so this is going to be 0 
which rounds to 0 0.068 N, or normality, equivalent weights per liter. So that's how you can calculate the normality of a solution. Now let's try a second example problem so that you can understand this topic. And I think it's best if you pause the video and follow the steps in the last problem to see if you can get the answer in this problem. And I would recommend doing it both ways so you can understand how to calculate normality in other situations when dealing with acid-base reactions. So first, let's calculate the molarity of the solution. So let's start with the mass, 1.5 grams of calcium hydroxide. And then let's convert it to moles. So we have one calcium atom, two oxygen atoms, and two hydrogen atoms. So the atomic mass of calcium is 40.08. Let me just confirm with the periodic table. And yeah, that's about right. And oxygen is 16, hydrogen is 1.008. So the molar mass is 74.096 grams per one mole. So now that we have the moles of calcium hydroxide, we need to divide it by the liters of solution. Now we have 850 milliliters, which is the same as point 0.85 liters. To convert milliliters into liters, divide by 1,000. Keep in mind, one liter is 1,000 milliliters. So now we have moles divided by liters, and that's going to give us the molarity of the solution. So it's 1.5 divided by 74.096 divided by 0.85. So the molarity is 0.0 238 M. Now that we have the molarity, we can calculate the normality using this equation, molarity times N. So the molarity is 0 0.0238. Now what's N in this problem? Calcium hydroxide has two hydroxide ions per formula unit so N is 2. So the normality, which I'm going to write it at the top, it's 0 0.0476 N. So that's the normality of the solution. Let's see if we can get that same answer using the second method. So make sure you try to do it first before looking at the solution. So let's start with one mole of H+. Now one mole of H+, reacts equivalently, excuse me, equivalently with one mole of hydroxide. So if you started with one mole of H+, or one mole of hydroxide, you can still get the right answer. I just have the habit of starting with one mole of H+. Now, one mole of calcium hydroxide contains two moles of hydroxide ions. So now we could cancel these units. And now let's convert moles to grams using the molar mass. And the molar mass for calcium hydroxide is 74.096 grams per one mole. So it's going to be 1 times 74.096 divided by 2. And so this is equal to 37.048 grams. So this is equal to the equivalent weight. So one equivalent weight is 37.048 grams. That's our conversion factor. So now that we have the conversion between equivalent weights and grams, 
for this substance, we can now calculate the normality of the solution. Now, for the second part, start with the mass of the substance, the mass that's given to you. So we have 1.5 grams of calcium hydroxide. Next, using this conversion factor, convert it to the number of equivalent weights. So one equivalent weight is 37.048 grams. Now that you have the number of equivalent weights, divided by the liters of solution. So 850 milliliters, as we said before, is 0.85 liters. So remember, normality is the number of equivalent weights divided by the liters of solution. So make sure that you end with those two units, equivalent weights on top and liters in the denominator of the fraction. So it's going to be 1.5 divided by 37.048, which tells us that we have 0.0405 number of equivalent weights. And then divide that by 0.85 liters. And so you get the same answer, which is 0.0476 N. So now you have two ways in which to calculate the normality of the solution. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful. And uh, thanks for watching.